Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Chemical Exchange with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Uh, last episode, we did the uh, tungsten quest uh, along with the uh, evaporator, and then we also did the zinc, the bromine, the fluorine, the chlorine, and the lithium. Uh, this episode, we're going to go, we're going to do the redstone and the lapis, and then we're going to build ourselves a manufactory. So uh, this is going to be a useful tool uh, for later on in uh, this world. First off, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make ourselves some redstone. Now, uh, to make redstone, we're going to need our uh, chemical combiner. Uh, we we're going to first going to need to make some iron oxide. Now that is going to be two iron and three oxygen uh, in our chemical combiner uh, makes us some iron oxide. So I'm going to put, I'm going to keep these separate because we are actually going to need two pieces of redstone uh, today. Uh, so I've kind of got it uh, set up for two. Uh, next up, we need some strontium carbonate. Now to make strontium carbonate, we need strontium and some carbonate. And carbonate is simply uh, carbon and three oxygen makes us a carbonate. And then to make the strontium carbonate, it is one strontium and one carbonate. And there we go, we've got our uh, strontium carbonate. So uh, to make the redstone now, we take the iron oxide, the strontium carbonate, carbonate and that gets us our one redstone like i said we we're going to need two of these so we're going to go throw this one in here as well uh this is just a uh, demo that i made you know just to show off so don't worry about that one uh so that is the first advancement we've gone and made ourselves a little bit of redstone we're going to go and collect our 250 monies there uh, next up, let's go to do the lapis lazuli. Now to make lapis lazuli, uh, we're going to have to go back to our chemical combiner. Uh, we are going to need, uh, two calcium, six aluminum, six silicon, 24 oxygen, and two sulfur. Uh, and we're missing one uh, item right now. Last episode, we were running the uh, water through the evaporator uh, and we were getting these uh, mineral salts. Uh, we were using these mineral salts uh, in our chemical dissolver and it got us a bunch of different chemicals, one of which is sodium. Now, I have not uh, added sodium to our transmutation table yet because... It hasn't come up in the uh, quest guide, uh, but it is something that we're going to need uh, to make the lapis lazuli. So I guess we do have to add it now. So we're going to take that sodium. I'm going to add it up there. It is learnt. Uh, we are going to need six sodium. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We're going to go into our chemical combiner. We're going to throw that up there. If we lock the recipe, there you go. There's our lapis lazuli. Very position oriented again. This is probably the most complicated, uh, you know, uh, compound that we've made, uh, so far. So we're going to hit resume. Actually, we're going to pick one up, put it back down again. There we go. We got four lapis lazuli. That is more than enough for what we're going to work on today. Uh, and there you go. We have got that lapis lazuli quest. We'll click on that, get our 250 monies. So next up, we're going to go and build ourselves the manufactory. Now, the manufactory is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it is going to take uh, some lead ingots, which is really, really simple. We're going to open this up and we're going to go find lead in our in our uh, transmutation table. So one stack of lead in our chemical combiner in the top corner gets us four lead ingots. That is going to be perfect. So the next ingredient we're going to need uh, to make this manufactory is going to be some flint. Now, uh, flint is a very, very uh, straightforward. Uh, it is just three silicon dioxide. Uh, so silicon dioxide, uh, we've done this one quite a few times, but it is one silicon to two oxygen. Let me grab that second one there. Uh, in our chemical combiner, silicon two oxygen gets us our silicon dioxide now like i said before it is going to take uh three total uh to do one flint we're going to need two pieces of flint position sensitive again uh, we're going to hit pause on this bottom middle slot hit resume there's our two pieces of flint that is really really good uh next up the next item we're going to need to do is this copper solenoid copper solenoid is going to require copper ingots we have not learned copper in our transmutation table uh, but we have gained copper uh from our um you know uh, dissolving of the mineral salts uh, in the chemical dissolver uh, so we do have that one as well this was from last time so we're going to open that up we're going to throw that into our transmutation table and we are again going to take a full stack over to our chemical combiner top left corner again there is our four copper ingots we are also going to need two iron ingots and actually let's keep some of that iron behind because we are going to need one more piece here uh, so top left corner there's our two iron ingots over to our crafting table we're going to go 
four copper top and or two top two bottom and then two iron in the middle gets us our copper solenoid uh that is really really good last item we've got to build uh is going to be a piston this is just a simple uh vanilla piston it is going to be that one redstone one iron uh four cobblestone and three wood planks and i reserved a little bit of that iron out we're actually only going to need half of that so there we go there is our one ingot i've got four four uh, cobblestone, uh, four wood. Actually, I only really needed the three wood. Um, let's just go type piston. I really miss the uh, Tinker's Tables because it makes setting up this stuff way, way easier. Uh, so there we go. We got the four cobblestone, iron, redstone, three wood planks. That gets us a piston. And then since we are right here, we're going to go and type in manufactory in our crafting table and that is going to be four lead ingots which we've made two flint which we've made the redstone the piston and the copper solenoid that gets us our manufactory now uh this is really really good and actually what i should do is grab a little bit of charcoal because what we're going to do is we're going to have to power this up so just to make sure i've got power in my uh, generator here uh, we're going to take the manufacturer, we're going to place it down. I've got to rethink this whole setup now because it is getting really, really tight. But that's something I'm going to do in between uh, episodes. That's not a big deal. We're going to open this up. The manufactory basically takes certain items and manufactures them down to other things. So there are a lot of different things we can do. There's a whole, you know, 20 pages of four, you know, to get stuff basically down to dusts is what it usually does. Uh, there's a few other things you get out of it. Uh, nothing super, super critical right now, except our last advancement for the day is going to be this graphite, which is a repeatable quest. It's not the uh, end of the world. Uh, also, we uh, get our 250 monies and we unlock neon and uranium in the shop uh not gonna buy any of those today because they are very very expensive and i don't really need any right now but something to keep in mind that is where they are um but really quickly what we're going to do is uh we're going to look at this graphite uh quest uh it is a repeatable quest so we're going to open up the manufactory to make graphite we need to first make coal dust so we've got uh, 16 uh, coal which i got from the chemical combiner and some carbon uh, we're gonna put that in the manufactory it is very slowly gonna go and make ourselves some dust there are some upgrades we can get later on uh not gonna worry about it right now but uh i'm gonna cut right here i'm gonna let this uh you know finish off and then we'll be right back Okay guys, so really, really quickly now, we've made ourselves some crushed coal. Uh, our goal is not crushed coal though, it is uh, actually uh, graphite. So our next step is to take the crushed coal, throw it back into the manufactory, and this will turn the crushed coal into crushed graphite. So uh, again, this is gonna be uh, the, the little pause here. Um, but you know, you know what, while this is going in the background, I was going to do this at the very end, but you know, it kind of makes sense now while we're, we're going through this. So I've got a bunch of loot crates. Uh, I've been holding them off. I forgot to do it last episode. Uh, just in case I get something that, you know, gives me a quest. I kind of want to make sure it's all done on screen. So, uh, we've got a blue, uh, reward crate. Uh, that is a thousand money. That's not too bad. Uh, regular loot crates for grass, bl grass blocks. Oh, okay. Here we go. Speedy hopper quest complete. This is one of the quests that we were working on uh so right here we've got this quest you can make these it's just a hopper and six iron um so i mean that's not uh the end of the world uh next up well actually we claimed that reward uh next up is the speedy hopper we've actually got one of these as well already but let's go keep going through this uh, loot crate more grass blocks more grass blocks uh 16 charcoal uh, not a big deal more grass blocks Grass blocks, grass blocks, uh, 250 money. That's okay. Speed upgrade. Okay. So this is good. We've used one of these, uh, in our, um, transfer pipes here. Uh, I may uh, reserve this for a little bit later on for something else, but, uh, that's what we use those for more money. And then that is it. So that is good and perfect. The graphite dust is done. That was some good timing there. So what we need to do now is we need to take this graphite dust and we need to turn it into an ingot form. So we're going to head over to our uh, little uh, furnace over here. And actually let's uh, spread this out just so we're a little bit quick. So we've got some going right there and uh, we'll throw a couple in here. And what do we got? Do we have any more coal? We do not. So let's go spread some of this around. Just trying to make this go a little bit quicker. 
And then up here, of course, I need a little bit more coal. So we'll go throw that there and there. And as you can see, this is turning it into graphite ingots, uh, which is exactly what we want. So uh, I've got three here and you know what? Let's go and throw that one in there. I spread it around. I don't think I spread it uh, very evenly, uh, but as soon as these are done, we'll have our uh, last quest of the day. So uh, give me one second and uh, we may be back or we may already be done. Uh, we're actually really, really close. So it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, to cut at this point. Uh, maybe I already have, I'm not too sure. <laughs> it's gonna depend on the edit looks there and there we go so there is our 16 uh graphite ingots we're gonna go and open this up actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our uh, quest chest we're gonna open this up i'm gonna shift click you can see we got a little bit of money there and i kind of wished it had shown how much we had actually gotten um but it doesn't really matter we can open up the quest book and pull this back over to our graphite repeatable. Uh, we got 500 money, which is really, really nice. So turn coal into coins. That is really, really interesting. But uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the uh, comments below if you guys did any of those quests uh, any differently than I did. I would really, really uh, like to hear how many other different ways out there there are to get those. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. Uh, as well, there will be a link to my uh, Patreon page. Uh, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this series and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There's a lot of great perks out there. I want to wish us to get your name at the end of all of my videos, but uh, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.